to know. Where in the world is San Diego Bam? And one of these gum shoes could find her. She was born in Bangladesh, can speak Bangla, and likes playing chess and the piano. Meet Eva Raj. He collects comics and sports cards, plays basketball, and has lived in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Meet Joseph Nieves. She enjoys soccer, softball, and competitive swimming, and has traveled to Canada and California. Meet Amanda Nolan. And here's Acme's senior agent in charge of training new recruits. Greg Lee! All right, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to have y'all with us here. How you doing, Amanda? Nice to see you. Joseph, good to see you, too. Eva, nice to see you, too. And hey, here they are, those best-selling authors of the acapella diet. Rockabella! <laughs> As another one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get started now with our very first thing, Chief. Who are we after? This is Wonder Rat. Wonder Rat. A caped, conceited cur who carts off contraband for Carmen San Diego. His last known whereabouts? The Black Hills, South Dakota. When sculptor Korzak Bilkowski died in 1982, he left behind a literal mountain of unfinished work, namely a mammoth monument called the Crazy Horse Memorial. Since 1947, Korzak had been transforming an entire mountain into the image of the Oglala Sioux Chief Crazy Horse. The sculptor was creating the memorial to honor the heritage of Native Americans. Today, work continues on the unfinished crazy horse. Korzak's wife and children have vowed to fulfill his dream. But today, that dream became a nightmare. Wonder Rat's monumental ego got the better of him. The repugnant rodent stole the statue and choppered it off. Soon, it will be his mug on the memorial, pointing the path to mountainous mayhem. Gumshoes, get that rat off his high horse and solve today's case. Beat Chisels Chief. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Chief. You guys heard it. We're at the Wonder Rat and the Crazy Horse statue to help you do that. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, I'm going to give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of today's round will then proceed to the next round. Okay, so let's get started now with our very first clue, which comes to us from Acme Cornea Net. Here is the private eye. Gumshoes. That rat's in a Virginia Valley between the Blue Ridge and Allegheny Mountains. It's a beautiful area, but I go to shop for antiques. English and German furniture makers settled there during the 18th and 19th centuries. They loved working with woods like walnut and sherry that grow in this region. I can spot their work by the unique finely crafted details. How do I know so much about antique furniture? Well, I guess I just have an eye for it. <laughs> Sorry about that. You know what I was doing? I was putting this thing in my ear. You know what that is? That's so that you can, uh, I can hear everything that's happening in the booth. See? See, look at this. Isn't that weird? Check that out. I'm like, I'm like a robot, huh? Sorry about that. Got caught. Okay, guys, name the river valley, if you will, please. Is it Delaware, Hudson, or Shenandoah? Sorry about that. Recap the, remember the clues that we heard in Virginia between Blue Ridge and Allegheny Mountains and known for finely crafted furniture. We're just about ready to start the show. Okay, guys, come up with an answer as quick as you can, please. Trying to find Wonder Rat and the Crazy Horse statue. Amanda's ready. Joe is ready. Eve is ready. Amanda, we start with you. What do you say? I said Shenandoah. Shenandoah. Joe? I said Shenandoah. Shenandoah. Eva? I said Shenandoah. Everybody said Shenandoah. Everybody is right. Nice job, everybody. Yeah, that's the way we like to start those things off. So that means Amanda, you go up to 60. Joseph has 60. Eva, 60 Acme Crime Bucks for our next clue. Hey, Greg, hey. What? Come to a ball game with us. Oh, listen, I'm kind of doing a thing here. Whoa. What are you playing? Whoa. It's called High Life. Yeah. Yeah, it's real popular in Havana, which is the capital of a West Indies right. country. Right. Whoa. How do you play it? Well, it's played in the wall court, kind of like handball with the ball like right. this. Oh. The pelota with the cesta, the basket right. like sure. that. Yeah. Hey. 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 Yeah. And then the ball bounces off the walls, and the other team has to catch it. Right, exactly. Yes, yes. Right. Now, are you coming or not? I got a thing here, but okay. could I hold on to this thing, please? Yeah. Oh, great. It's a great back scratcher, huh? <laughs> oh. uh. Hmm. 
Name the place, if you will, please, guys. Is it Bermuda, Cuba, or Puerto Rico? Remember the clues that we heard? West Indies country, capital is Havana, and high lie is a popular sport. Eve is ready, so is Amanda, so is Joe. Amanda, what do you say? I said Cuba. Cuba. Joe? I said Cuba. Cuba. Eva? I said Cuba. Everybody said Cuba. I am happy to announce, ladies and gentlemen, that everyone is right once again. <laughs> Nice job, guys. And as you know, if you're watching at home, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. My favorite part of the show. Okay, guys, no, for Greg, our next clue. Yes, sir. Facts coming in. Oh, cool. Oh, my. No, 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 look, Chief, you, know, you can't tell where the black birds end and the white birds just start. Mm, this print is called Day and Night by M.C. Escher. With M.C. Escher. He's a rapper, right? Oh. Escher was an artist from a small European country on the North Sea. Now, many famous painters like Vermeer and Rembrandt were born there. Escher combined math and art to make pictures with strange perspectives that seem to change before your eyes. I don't know, Chief. This is too weird, you know. I don't know if I'm left, I'm right, I'm up, I'm down, I'm in or out. Get... So what else is new? <laughs> Chief! Ouch! Pardon me. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it... Netherlands, France, or Sweden? One of the clues that we heard, European country on the North Sea, birthplace of many famous painters, and M.C. Escher. This one could be rough. We'll see what happens. Amanda's ready. Uh, so is Eva, and so is Joe. Amanda, what do you say? I said Netherlands. Uh, Netherlands. Joe, what do you think? I said Sweden. Sweden. Eva? I said Netherlands. Netherlands. The answer we're looking for is Netherlands. Nice job, ladies. So that means, Amanda, you go up to 80, Joseph has 70, Eva, 80, Acme Crime, it's a very close game, guys. But now it is time for the lightning round! <laughs> <laughs> I was just pretending. Everything's okay. <laughs> okay, guys, all these are about Wonder Rat's most recent known whereabouts, which is the Netherlands. Give you five crime books every time you answer a question correctly. Hands to you, Buster. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. No, she knows my whole speech. Here we go, guys. Here's the first clue. On December 5th in Amsterdam, the Dutch Santa Claus called Sinterklaas rides through town greeted by cheering crowds. Does he arrive in a sleigh, a steamship, or a Lexus sports coupe? Amanda. A sleigh? Uh, it's not a sleigh, no. Joe. Um. It was a sleigh, a steamship, or a Lexus sports coupe. A steamship? Is right. Nice job. Except five crime bucks. Here's the next one. At one time, there were over 10,000 windmills in the Netherlands. Did they pump water off the land, cool off the countryside in summer, or blow warm air on the tulips? Joe. Blow warm air on the tulips? Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Amanda? What was it trying to say? It was pump water off the land, cool off the countryside in summer, or blow warm air off the tu on the tulips? Cool off... Uh... The countryside in summer? Yeah. Sorry, that's not the right answer. Eva, what do you think? Be careful. Um, Pump water off the land, cool the, off the countryside in the summer, or blow warm air on the tulips. Be careful, Eva. Pump water off the land, cool off the countryside in summer, or blow warm air on the tulips. Uh, pump water? Is right, Eva. Congratulations. <laughs> nice job. Oh, as we say back home in Nebraska, she. <laughs> okay, guys, here's your last question. <laughs> You may have read the diary of a young Jewish girl and her family who hid from the Nazis in an Amsterdam attic. Was she Anne... Uh, uh, yes, Amanda. Anne Frank. Is right. Nice job. That means at the end of that round, Amanda has 85, Joseph has 75, Eva 85. At me crying. Looks nice job, guys. Now, for our next clue, we put together a little something. Greg, like yes, could you come into my office right now? Gee, she seems in a really bad mood, but I'll tell you what, it's okay with me because, you know what, this is going to give me time to... Uh, kind of get my little uh, science project. I want to check on it. So if you guys don't mind, I will be right back. Just one second, please. Hold on. <laughs> you know, Chief, a guy's really got to irrigate a lot this time of year. Otherwise, you can lose the whole thing. Have to go to beans. I uh, hate for that to happen. Real quick questions, Greg. Yeah. What are you talking about? And why do I have dirt? A huge pile of dirt on my desk. Wait a minute, Chief. First off, this is not dirt. This is soil, huh? I'm trying to create the first ever indoor desk farm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you picked my desk for this honor. That's right, Chief. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to have one of the best pretzel crops in many a year right here. Ah. Do you think you could work the uh, contest into your rotation schedule, Mr. McGregor? Uh, I can't right now, Chief. 
Gotta fire up the tractor and plow. Cover for me, okay? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no problem. Here's who won today. Congratulations to the winners. And if you'd like to win, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. When you collected four loops and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Ask Me Crime That P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Well, what do you think? Not a bad pretzel drop, huh? <laughs> Craig, I can't believe it. We're live <laughs> death farmers. Right. Is this fresh? Oh. Hey, did you feed the chickens? What chickens? The ones that I'm raising in the uh, drawer of your desk. <laughs> Sound hungry. By the way, Bessie could use some milk in. Bessie. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. I'm telling you, little tiny... Baby pretzels like this right off the vine this time of year. <laughs> Nothing like them. Who should know but me? Don't that. Follow the Nile River into Africa's largest country. There'll be just enough space there for your ego. Hey, I ain't conceding, but that's unusual for a guy as great as me. <laughs> uh, try to contain your modesty when you meet the Kushites. They're an ancient civilization who once had their own kingdom. In fact, about 2,800 years ago, the kingdom of Kush even conquered Egypt for a short time. Oh, yeah? So how come I never heard of these Kushites? Well, for one thing, they had a mysterious language, so it's very difficult for archaeologists to interpret their writing. Hey, if these Kushites want to be famous, they got to use me as their press agent. <laughs> Laugh. Okay, guys, uh, name the country where Wonder has taken Crazy Horse statue. Is it Nigeria, Sudan, or Libya? Remember the clues that we heard? Biggest African country. Nile flows through it and site of ancient Nubia. Looks like everybody's ready. Amanda, what do you say, buddy? I said Sudan. Uh, Sudan. Joe? I said Sudan. Sudan. Eva? I said Sudan. Sudan. The answer looking for is Sudan. Nice job. You guys are good. Okay, Gumshoes, for our next clue, we turn to Kitty and Peter Carruthers, Agents for Stars on IceNet. Okay, Gumshoes, Wonder Rats in Ecuador's capital. The city was once the northern capital of the Incas, a major civilization nearly wiped out by the Spanish conquistadors. The conquistadors stole Inca gold and used a lot of it decorating Spanish churches and palaces in this city. The famous church of San Francisco, which is now a museum, is covered inside with Inca gold. And for hundreds of years, none of it was ever stolen. Even more amazing, Peter. There's no graffiti or gum under the seats, either. Amazing. Okay, guys, name the city where Wonder Rat took the statue. Is it Santiago, Lima, or Quito? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital of Ecuador and once northern capital of the Incas. Everybody's ready. Amanda, we're coming to you. What do you say, buddy? I said Quito. Quito. What do you think, Joe? I said Quito. Quito. Eva? I said Quito. You guys are amazing, and you're all right again, in addition to being amazing. Nice job, guys. So that means Amanda, you go up to 105. Joseph has 95. Eva, 105. Now, you know what it's time for, right? Yeah. You ready? Shake it. Shake it. The chase. Careful there, guys. All these worth five. That be crime bugs. Hands on the buzzers. Watch the monitor. Listen carefully. Here we go. Wonder Rat lassoed Crazy Horse all the way to Ulan Bator. Name the country he's in. Eva. Mongolia. Is right. Next, he went undercover in China's capital city. Name it. Eva. Beijing. Yes. He sneaked the statue aboard a steamship to Seoul. What's Joe? Black. Yellow. He water skied to Japan's largest island. Name it. Joe. Taiwan. Honshu. Sorry. That rat fink ran off with the statue to a British colony in China. Amanda Hong Kong. is right. That means at the end of the chase round, Amanda has won 10. Joseph, 95. Eva, 115. Acme Crime Bugs. Let me hear you shout some out there. Good job, guys. Now it is time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. So take a look right over here, if you will, please, because here we happen to have a map of where we think Wonder Rat is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> All right, everybody is ready. Now it is time for the final clue of this round. Oh, excuse me, I got somebody at the door. Be right back.
Oh, the rapid Chris B. Buddy. Put it there. Greg, What's up? Greg, Greg. I'm here to give a clue to the gumshoe. Oh, well, lay that funky beat down. Okay, you got it. Wonder Rat got busy with Carmen's orders by going to a state where they got straight borders. The Grand Tetons is his vacation spot, a national park that's the opposite of hot. Long as you were ski when you ski, skiing, 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 4,139 feet. I even lost my skiing buddy, gone into the cold in the Teton Valley called the Jackson Hole. Do a favor for the folks who call this home. Scope a nearby town with a fine tooth comb. With Wonder Rat ill and all through the snowy streets, a decent person can just get the time to kick the funky beat. Funky beat. Funky beat. Smooth it out now. Scoop it up. Smooth it out now. Scoop it up. Smooth it out now. The rapping, Chris B, ladies and gentlemen. I'll walk you out. You were great, man. The rapping, Chris B, and the balding Greg Lee, all in one great show. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Jackson, Missouri, Jackson, Mississippi, or Jackson, Wyoming? Remember the clues that we heard. Grand Teton National Park, longest ski run in U.S., and Jackson Hole. This is the final clue this round. Once you're ready, put those answers right there in front of you. Joe is ready, so is Amanda. Eva is thinking about it because, yeah, there you go, buddy. Nice, good. Nice, good. Here we go. Joe, you have 95 at me, crime bucks. Uh, before you show us your answer, what is your nice, good risk? I risk 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say, buddy? I said Jackson, Wyoming. Is right. Nice job, Joe. Wow, takes it to 125. Amanda, you have 110. How much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. That looks pretty nice, good to me. What'd you say? I said Jackson, Wyoming. Jackson, Wyoming. Nice job, Amanda. Takes up to 140. Eva, you have 115. You look pretty happy. How much did you risk? Uh, 20. 20 cry bucks. If you're right, it'll take you up to 135, and you and Amanda will go into the next round, and that will be nice and good. What'd you say, Eva? Jackie Wyoming. Nice job, Eva. Wow, Joseph, listen, buddy, great game. You had this thing clear to the very end. Chief, what do we have for it? Hey, there are times when Wonder Rat has given me the slip, too, but there's nothing like the perfect gift to help me feel better. For example, the official Acme Travel Pack, complete with an atlas, the official Carmen T-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and our Acme Voice Identification Badge and Leave a Message Wallet. Ouch! Next time, press the button. Thank you, Chief. Okay, guys, it's time for us to uh, go to one. Greg, yes, Chief. Leave a light on before you go. We want uh, Carmen and her gang to think we're home. It's a great idea, Chief. You guys ready? You got the door? You got the hat? I got the Chief, and I got this very cool sign. And we're going that way. I think that's the way Wyoming is. We're going to Wyoming. Follow the sign. <laughs> Chief, won't Carmen hear the sound of pounding hooves? No, she'll just think it's Earth of Fruit. Okay, Gumshoes, here we are in Jackson, Wyoming. Follow the sign. You guys go right there and there. Good. I'm going to go over here. The Chief is going to be right inside here. Whoa, here she goes. Chief, tell us what's up. Gumshoes. There are 15 places here in Jackson Hole where you might find Wonder Rat the Warrant or the Crazy Horse statue. Here are a few. The gorgeous scenery of Jackson Hole is a big reason tourists flock there. That's Jackson <laughs> Lake, the Teton Mountains, and, oh, darn, a cloud or two overhead. Boy, something always ruins it. Elky summer? No, elk in winter. <laughs> ah, Jackson Hole Valley has been home to thousands of elk since the National Elk Refuge was created there in 1912. Yep, elk are everywhere in Jackson Hole. Even the arches at McDonald's are made of elk antlers. Uh, no, just kidding. This is a park entrance to the town of Jackson. But the arch is really made of antlers. Finally, ask Acme agent Bob for info. As usual, he'll say, a bad day fishing is better than a good day at the stock market. And he's right. And, as any gumshoe knows, a good day sleuthing means a lifetime of jailing for a crook. Capture that rat and return Crazy Horse, of course. We'll do it, Chief. Thanks a lot. <coughs> Loot warrant and crook is the order, guys. You know how this works. Amanda, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Um, I'll take elk antler arches. Ah, that's a good one. Elk antler arches. 
Nothing there. We turn it around. Eva, what do you say, buddy? Uh, Teton Science School. Uh, Teton Science School. Nothing there. We turn it around. Amanda? Uh, National Elk Refuge. National Elk Refuge. Scarsucci. Nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead, Amanda. Grand Teton Music Festival. Grand Teton Music Festival. <laughs> nice job, though. You found the loot. We turn it back around. Eve, Eva, your turn. Um, uh, Snake River? Snake River. Nothing there. Well, we lost some air on the tires. Turn this around. Amanda, your turn. National Elk Refuge. National Elk Refuge. Cop Crazy Horse. Go ahead, Amanda. Jackson Hole Rodeo. Jackson Hole Rodeo. Yeehaw! But no. <laughs> but no, we turn it around. Eva, your turn. Uh, National Elk Refuge. National Elk Refuge. Sue them. Go ahead, Eva. Huckleberry Hot Springs. I'm sorry? Huckleberry Hot Springs. Huckleberry Hot Springs. Nothing there, but uh, we know where the loot is. We turn it around. Amanda, your turn. National Elk Refuge. National Elk Refuge. Oh, go, 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 bye, bye. go ahead, Ox Amanda. Oxbow Bend. I'm sorry? Oxbow Bend. Oxbow Bend. Wonder Rat. Quite interesting. You have the loot and you have Wonder Rat. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Be careful, Amanda. Huckleberry Hot Springs. Huckleberry Hot Springs. Mm. Nice strategy. We turn all three back around. Eva, your turn. Um, National Elk Refuge. National Elk Refuge. You dirty rat. <laughs> Go ahead, Eva. Uh, Jenny Lake. Jenny Lake. The warrant. You have the loot and the warrant. Do you know where the crook is? Oxbow Bend. Oxbow Bend. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Nice job. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, buddy, you know what to do? Go put on that chain. Go do it. Go. Yes, yeah. she's going. Here we go with the chain. <laughs> Eva, you look happy. I'm so glad to see that you ought to be happy. We'll talk to you just a little bit. First off, Amanda, fantastic job. Great detective work. Chief, what do we have? Lemke just came running upstairs with two of these pocket organizers. Check this out. It's the latest from Acme's Crime Lab. Now, I press this button to turn on my TV, and this one to rewind the tape. One to rewind the tape. Ah, sorry. <laughs> anyway, you can store phone numbers, homework assignments, find out your daily fortune, and send secret messages. Plus, the Acme Travel Kit. That adds up to a pretty good day's work. Congratulations! Thanks a lot. What's that? What were you saying? No, what were you saying? Stuff? Were you? <laughs> she was asking me if I was really this tall. That's what you were saying. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. well, I'm not this tall. I'm actually much taller in real life. Yeah. Okay, buddy, here's your rack of portfolio inside, a piece of paper and a pen. What you need to do is write down where you'd like to go to Kids Carmen San Diego. Billy, start the music. You've been there before, though, haven't you? I haven't. Where do you want to go? I love it. It's great. Well, because of the... Well, it's not necessarily true. Not if I don't really believe it. Ready for a phone call? The cool little ring. Hello? Do you want to talk to him? Why not? so she can make me a publishing deal. She's hiding out in Europe. Okay, Eva, you and I are after Carmen San Diego. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Ireland. Belgium. Germany. Sweden. Latvia. Lithuania. Belarus. Czech Republic. Slovakia. Hungary. Ukraine, Bulgaria, Greece. Greg, let's go to the map. All right, buddy, you know what to do. Put a mark in your hand, 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you. Cheer on, guys. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Come with the villainous Lithuania. Lithuania, go, buddy. Go, Lithuania. Do it, do it, do it. Got to go faster than that. Got to go faster. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Go on to the next one. Go on to the next one. No, forget about this one. Go on to the next one. Hungry. Budapest, hungry. Hungry. Go on. Do it, buddy. Do it. Do it. Got to go faster. Get him, go, go. Slovakia. 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 Try it again. Got to go faster. Faster. Come on, come on, come on. Czech Republic. Prague, Czech Republic. Prague, Czech Republic. Let's go. Cross is Belgium, Belgium, Belgium. Do it, buddy, do it. Try it again, try it again, Belgium. Let's do it. Ukraine, kill the Ukraine, Ukraine. Try it again, try it again, gotta try it again one more time. Oh, two and 45 seconds, give a big round of applause, you guys. 
Hey, listen, that's no big deal, because you caught the crook like we asked you to do today. So you've already done what we asked you to do. Chief, what do we have for? Carmen can be hard to catch, but I think you did a great job. That's why I'm giving you this portable CD music system, complete with stereo speakers, a cassette deck, AM, FM radio, and this library of world music. You made it. You're a snoot. Congratulations. Put a hands low if you want to Yeah. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is. Do it, Rockefeller! Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. Sticky finger touch up from Berlin down to Belize. We'll take you for a ride on the long boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Steal their soul in South Korea. Make it a Remember, from Mogadishu to Glen Fittish, some shoes always eat their spinach. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston.